What's up guys, it's Josh from Keep It Techie and today I wanted to do a quick video showing you guys the top 5 Linux books I recommend for Linux beginners all the way up to advanced users. To be honest, I'm a little bit lazy when it comes to reading, so my list of Linux books will be a little bit different for most. I prefer watching instructional videos, so therefore the books I enjoy get straight to the point. They are mainly tutorial based with short explanations on how to handle a specific task. And all these books I currently own and they have helped me with learning and maintaining my knowledge using the Linux operating system. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first book I wanted to show you guys, I actually own about three or four copies of this book. I have them in various areas. I keep one in my bag that I take to work, but this is the Linux Pocket Guide, Essential Commands. And as you can see, it's on Amazon. It's about 12 bucks for the actual book. It's super small. And just to show you, I do have it. This is one that I keep by my desk, but this book has helped me in a lot of cases when it comes to learning the Linux operating system, as well as being a quick reference for me to look up commands. Now, I know you can do a lot of it from the man pages, but it's cool to have a physical copy in case you're on a system that doesn't have a man page or the man pages are not installed and you don't have internet connection. Well, this book has saved my life a few times. When it came to that case, let's say I was doing a reinstall of Orch or something and I needed to re reference a command this book has saved me because i'm on a system and a lot of times when you're running through the orch install there isn't any internet connection once you get past the live iso and you have to go through and set all this up well this book has referenced a whole bunch of commands that i've used to help me get out of jams when i'm trying to install my operating system so i definitely recommend that you guys get a copy of this book it's super cheap and just keep it as a physical reference in case you need it because you never know when you're going to need it and like i said it's super small uh it fits in your back pocket you know what i'm saying that's why they call it the pocket guide so and i'm not getting paid for any of the books that i recommend to you guys I don't even have affiliate links, but I may add those in the future if I go on and set up an affiliate account so you guys can support the channel that way if you want to. Okay, so the next book I want to recommend is the actual CompTIA Linux Plus certification book. Now, this is beneficial if you're trying to take the CompTIA Linux Plus certification exam, and I'm currently using this now to go through the process of passing this certification i actually have the book i actually brought on the author a while back of this book uh mr ted jordan and he has a whole lot of experience uh working with linux and check out that interview if you guys missed it but he has he's a very knowledgeable person and i definitely want to recommend his book uh it's helping me as you can see it's the number one bestseller so it's definitely a great book. It's about $35 to $40 or so to get this actual book, but it's definitely worth it because I should have the Linux Plus certification within the next month or so. And this book has definitely helped me with getting my skills up in order to actually pass this certification. Okay, so the next book I want to recommend to you guys is 101 Labs. CompTIA Linux Plus uh, paperback book and this book is about $40 on Amazon and it's a excellent book and this refers back to what I stated in the beginning. I like tutorial based style books that get straight to the point and this is exactly what this book does. It was written by Paul W. Browning as well as Arturo Baldo. And this is an excellent book. They have 101 Labs has a couple different areas that they cover with their books. So you can search 101 Labs and it'll pull up all the different versions. I know 
a guy that I interviewed on my channel, Network Bruh, he actually uses the one for the Cisco Labs, which is very beneficial to him. He does a lot of videos going through those different labs, showing to how to actually go through the process of completing these tutorials and these books. The front of the book says learn by doing and that's the type of person that i am i learn by actually doing it and this book uh again let me show it to you i have a copy of it as well uh i definitely recommend it but i learn by doing uh a lot of times when when i'm going through and trying to learn something new uh by doing it it will help me retain it better so it's all on how you learn and how you re retain information and i retain it better by actually doing the commands or going through the configuration that'll help me better understand it versus just strictly reading something in a book so that's why i recommend this book it goes through the whole process configuring and doing different things within the linux operating system and i definitely recommend you guys Check this book out for yourself. As you can see, it's 40 bucks, like I stated earlier, but it has great reviews. So check it out for yourself. Okay, so the next book I wanna recommend to you guys is How Linux Works. This book has raving reviews as well. Uh, I currently have it. I'm not sure where it is at the moment, but it's a $20 book. Uh, and it has some great information that can help you as a user, all the way up to a super user or administrator. It goes through a lot of processes on fully understanding the way the Linux operating system actually works, uh, kernel modules, all that good stuff. Uh, so I definitely recommend this one as well. It's written by Brian Ward. So check it out for yourself. Like I said, it's about 20 bucks. It's a good investment. This will actually help you better understand Linux. Now, the next book I want to show you guys is the Linux Bible. This has great reviews as well. It has is tutorial based and it has a lot of great information. As you can see, the ratings are pretty good on it. It's there on the 10th edition and it's written by a guy named Christopher Negos. And this book is about $30 or so. Uh, it's a pretty big book. And this current edition actually includes the latest version of Red Hat or CentOS uh, as far as the tutorials go. Uh, so it's def it definitely has a lot of great information in it. I own this one as well. And it has helped me in the future. You know, a lot of these books, I sit on my desk and use them when I need it. But it's always good to have that physical reference, like I stated earlier. In case you run into any problems, uh, this can be a great resource for you when you're learning the Linux operating system. Because at the end of the day, it's very hard to remember all the different commands, all the different configurations, and all the different things, cool things that you could do in the Linux operating system that you have to have some type of reference to go back to. Even if you've used something very extensively and you haven't used it in a couple months or so, it's good to refresh on that information so you can actually understand what you're doing and properly configure certain things. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, leave comments down in the comment boxes below. And of course, keep it techy.